AJ, what are your thoughts on all familiar Una Emery collapse? It was a really good evening, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, <laughs> my star of the game is Kulusevski. I yeah. oh that my guy, God, yeah. agree. That guy is firstly strong. He's so strong, and his decision making is top class. Everything he does is like top class. As far as I've like hit a jackpot in him for like yeah. solo. I think I think the first goal came from his press, right? He he won the ball and he yeah. just passed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He just like pushed him, dude. Like it just like pushed it was him and then yeah, easy. he scored the ball and he was done. You know, Patrick um, signed everything. him at Juventus he, and he signed him back at uh, here. Hmm. Like, like he just followed him. Uh, AJ, what do you what are your thoughts on uh, the all fam- all familiar Una Emery collapse? It was a really good evening, <laughs> but <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was to be honest. As I, I have a soft spot for Aston Villa and Unai Emery. I felt like I mean, I always have felt like he was dealt with a very bad hand at Emirates, uh, post Ferguson, uh, post sorry, post Wenger. But then there was a typical Unai Emery performance. He changed his tactics for some reason. He played five, I mean three at the back with two wing backs. Mm-hmm. Uh, not much of a midfield. I think he played Yuri Tielemans, who mm-hmm. he hasn't been playing for a long time, and then. Hmm. Uh, they lacked a lot of control in the game, which they generally are good at from the midfield. Uh, and playing the high line was always going to be one of the challenges against Tottenham. I feel like more than anything else, because Tottenham themselves play a high line, so they do it every day in the training, right? So it is easier for them to understand and break those high lines because that's literally mm-hmm. what they face every day in, in the training and they made the most of it. Same can be said for Aston Villa too, but I think Aston Villa's midfield was really run over by by Tottenham's. And again, Kulusevski, you uh, like he passes the ball, he tracks back, he defends. But the biggest, I think, aspect of him is like you can't really get the ball off him. So you can tackle mm-hmm. him like it, the ball just sticks to his feet, and he, people can just jump on his feet and do whatever. But he'll just get like still get away with the ball. So I think uh, it's been working. It's been working really well, and it feels like Arsenal 2021, where they are onto something. And if they can capitalize mm-hmm. it, they'll be good in like a couple of seasons. Yeah, dude. I think a couple yeah. of good signings uh, in the like in the summer again, yeah. and you know you're talking about like different and for yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, and today was the uh, like. After November, I think their full team started for the first time. So getting mm-hmm. this result is like a good, good enough, uh, uh, you know, sign that like there are good, better things to come. Um, yeah. It's a statement. City lost there, Arsenal lost there, Liverpool is yet to play there. So, and beating them four mm. 0 is a is a statement, especially when it comes to top four race, so close together to each other. 